the way I define Jewish power is the ability to silence discussion on Jewish power. Now, <laughs> now this is very, very important. This is very important. But should we, should we use that term, Jew? I mean, you Defin can, definitely, you're a Jew, definitely. But can we definitely. use that term? You must. You must. Everyone must use the Jewish power. We have to remember that Israel is the Jewish state. It defines itself as the Jewish mm. state. It mm. just passed the cabinet, just approved of the Israeli national bill. You know, there is no contradiction. If, if they call themselves the Jewish state, we have to accept it and to respect it. It's not just our Second Amendment that's under attack. It's not just the sovereignty of this republic, but our right to also be able to read the newspapers or visit the websites we wish to are also under absolute assault. Now, I've been telling you for years that it's the communist Chinese that have been basically consulted by the EU and by the United States and other globalist groups that control our nation to establish Chinese-style net censorship here in the United States. We're going to break down why this is so critical and how it ties into the agenda to shut down the free press with the communist Chinese lurking in the background, captaining, quarterbacking the entire sinister operation. We are exposing the globalist plan. We understand their program. And that's why they're rallying forces around the world to bully the United States into killing Donald Trump's Americana vision that InfoWars is a powerful component of. Because we're losing a lot of people because of the internet. And we have to do something. We have to go see Bill Gates and a lot of different people that really understand what's happening. We have to talk to them, maybe in certain areas, closing that internet up in some way. Somebody will say, oh, freedom of speech, freedom of speech. These are foolish people. We have a lot of foolish people. We have a lot of foolish people. We've got to maybe do something with the internet. The bottom line is this. There is a massive sustained attack taking place against free speech all over the world. And the communist Chinese are the grand champions of censorship are the ones that are advising, the ones that are basically uh, uh, giving the analysis and the consulting systems they need to carry this out. And on top of that, our top experts, some of the biggest, most prestigious companies in the United States when it comes to IT, have said that this attack we've been under at InfoWars for the last three days is clearly institutional slash governmental and appears to be the major attacks that have been exploited by the communist Chinese in the last few years. Notice that InfoWars has been leading the charge, exposing the fact that China's coming in, buying up Hollywood, that China's coming in, buying up many of our newspapers, that China is lecturing us in the news on how to, quote, shut down the fake news and the alt-right that's critical of China and that's also supportive of Donald Trump getting tough with China. Now, I just broke down how the communist Chinese are openly involved advising Facebook, Google, you name it, on the new, quote, ban the fake news initiative that they launched 20 years ago in China that they're now launching here. But think about that. The communist Chinese aren't just buying up Hollywood. They're now coming in, lecturing us, and working with our controlled media on censoring the American people. This is outrageous. But it's so over the top, the average person can't even believe it's happening. And of course, censorship is something happening in our country as well. Here's a little anecdote. A friend of mine um, was flying back from Palestine to the United States, and she had a layover in Germany along the way where she picked up this issue of International Newsweek because it had a particularly sympathetic article about the plight of the Palestinians. You can see at the top there. Um, and then she had another layover in Chicago on her flight home where she found this. 
uh, also Newsweek, August 2004, but the U.S. version, with almost the same information, but one major difference. That article about the plight of the Palestinians had been completely removed from the entire magazine and replaced by one about the Olympics. And, um, well, some people will, will tell you that's just because Americans don't care about the Middle East, but you know, look at the cover story. Of course Americans care about the Middle East. Uh, we read about what's happening in Iraq. We read about uh, what's happened in Lebanon. This is a kind of censorship, and it's happening all over the place. We need to be aware of it. It's very dangerous, of course, because the very people who are paying for what's happening don't know what's happening. Um, and so, you know, you don't have to take my word for it. I tell people, do your own research. You know, I didn't believe it when I first heard it. I did my own research, and that's what I recommend for other people to do. Just like two weeks ago, we launched that whole initiative to get 100,000 signatures. We did get the 100,000 signatures, uh, a little bit more, to meld them to President-elect Trump so he'll stand up against this move to restrict free speech in America that the Democrats and Republicans have launched over the Christmas holiday while most people are asleep. But just think about that. The communist Chinese aren't just bringing their system here, they're advising and quarterbacking it. But here it is, 100,000 signatures. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this back up. This is about to be mailed to Donald Trump tomorrow at Trump Tower. But you know, they always bring up the First Amendment. <laughs> it's all true. You're gonna end freedom in Europe and the United States. The communist Chinese are going to oversee censorship of the web, which is now in the news. Drugs learned this a year ago. I learned it this a year ago, that they were going forward with it. The intelligence agencies leaked the hell out of the truth. Patriots like you, every race, color, and creed spread the word. Uh, absolutely, you know, foreign governments and others, from Iceland to, to, you know, to Greece to Russia, are, are fighting the same globalists, so they joined us. Now, it is not prophecy that we're being proven right that worldwide, from communist China to the EU to the United States, globalist corporations and their operatives in government are openly calling for censoring the people of the planet that criticize globalism, unelected corporate rule. Picture this scene. There's a 13-year-old kid living somewhere in America. He wants to learn more about the Jews and Israel because he's heard some things. Well, he types that in and he comes back, he finds a video called The Jewish Problem. This video basically shows footage of Nazis marching, white power, white supremacy, and spits a lot of lies about who the Jews are and what Israel is about. Well, this starts to shape his idea of all of this. And not only that, but YouTube is going to suggest to him hundreds of other videos that are just like this one. We need it to stop. My name is Mike Mintz. I'm here to tell you about an organization called They Can't. It was started right here in Israel, in the Judean desert, just two years ago. And in that short time, it's taken down more than 37,000 anti-Semitic videos and has closed more than 800 accounts of people trying to spread messages of hate. We need your support, because the only way that we can win this war against the anti-Semites and the anti-Israel people on YouTube is to join together and do something that is called crowd reporting. See, They Can't has a very large community of people from all over the world. It's run by a guy named Eliyahu Rot, and at the click of a button, when he finds these videos and things are reported, he'll mobilize a large army of people that are willing to report to YouTube that these videos should be taken down. And let me tell you a secret, it's working. But we need to do more. There's just three short weeks before Rosh Hashanah, and that's in uh, September 16th of 2015. We want to do a very special campaign to see if we can really enlarge our base and make a real difference this year to set us up to do even more work next year. And we want you to join this fight with us. So go ahead, click that donate button and join us. I know that together we can fight anti-Semitism and anti-Israel videos on YouTube and make a real difference. We are having devastating victories all over the planet and they are scared. They admit in their own publications. And again, they, they're so arrogant, they think you're stupid. They think we're stupid. 
they think we don't even read these, where they admit planetary government dumbing us down, controlling us. The WikiLeaks say keep us desperate. Israel's justice minister in Europe has compared criticism of Israel to anti-Semitism. Now, this is a common trope among Israeli officials, defenders of Israel at all costs. Throwing out the accusation of anti-Semitism is a regular feature of discourse related to Israel. Shaked herself, before assuming a post in government, has even called for ethnic cleansing and mass killing of Palestinians. But the reality is, is that Israel is a nation state, not a representation of an entire religion or ethnicity. It is a nation state and needs to be treated normally. And under normal conditions, its behavior is entirely unacceptable. I mean, we know, okay, guys? We know how evil you are. We understand your ideology. We understand you can't compete with Americanism. But we now know their attack plan three weeks after Trump's devastating victory, where he won with such a massive landslide that they were unable to steal it, folks. He, he probably won by 65% of the vote. I'm serious. Remember that time that everyone's internet history was released on South Park and everything went to crap? Every message, every comment ever made by trolls will retroactively be given a tag with the author's name, location, and full internet history. Yeah, that's happening right now. And in this video, I'm going to tell you what just happened, the scariest repercussions because of this, and also how the great, amazing people of the internet could finally stand up and fight back. Magic missile! Magic missile! Magic missile! And last week, since the U.S. government already is spying on you through the NSA and CIA and knows everything that you're doing, decided, well, why not just give that power to the corporatocracy? And that's exactly what they did by allowing internet providers to now collect and sell your entire web browsing history. Broadband providers like AT&T and Comcast, who suck major donkey balls, and others will be able to sell your personal information to the highest bidder without your permission. That information may include, but is not limited to, your location, financial history, healthcare, and browsing data scrap from customers. That information includes all the crazy insane sicknesses you thought you had and your porn browsing history. But the president of the United States, the man of the people, the man who promised to make America great again, he won't allow this, right? And who he peace jits, he does support it and he's fully on board. The social engineers think you and I and the rest of us are stupid. They've actually written countless articles and white papers and books about what they're building. They want to play God. Humanity has never actually had anybody that was a god or even a demigod, even in Greek mythology like Ulysses or somebody like, uh, I guess, well, who's the most classic of them all? Hercules. But imagine being Zuckerberg. Or Schmidt. Or these other technocrats. Uh, like Bezos, who gets openly $600 million a year from the CIA to F with the American people. With all this data and what we're doing and our hopes and dreams and spying on us with computers, algorithming it, they can really predict what we're going to do and know our hopes and dreams and they can finally play God. And that's what they're doing. And they can also, when pedophile rings come out and corruption comes out and the government working with Islamists is selling us out to Saudi Arabia, when all that comes out, they can game it and control it and block it and call it fake news. They're trying to call the awakening of humanity to their crimes, fake news. They're trying to sell censorship as some great protection so the big corporate chiefs can continue to basically run their operations of raping you and your family culturally and financially. So are you open to closing parts of the internet? 
I would certainly be open to closing areas where we are at war with somebody. I sure as hell don't want to let people that want to kill us and kill our nation use our internet. Yes, sir, I am. Thank you. So that's really the big secret, is these are the most cold-blooded, empty, cowardly, inbred scumbags on the planet who think they're better than myself and you. And the question is, are they? Because their statements are public, their activities are public, what they've done is public. To advance uh, the cooperation that is required to get, to get us to be able to control this jungle, to cut it down to size. We can only beat paths in the jungle if we do it in a collaborative effort, and we're prepared to do that. And they think we're a bunch of dumb fuckers, like Zuckerberg said about his members a few years ago. No, we're just normal people that didn't think about screwing somebody over and don't operate like that. We never grew up thinking our TVs would be jacked into the internet watching and listening to us. We never thought we'd deal with people that wanted to reduce world population so you could have a bigger ranch or whatever. We get it, you're a bunch of selfish, inbred assholes. So that's the secret of Google and Facebook and their censorship is they wanna be able to commit their crimes against humanity and play God and they want you to just shut your mouth and roll over and die. You, how does that? How does that even work? Another country can decide what you are allowed to see and hear. That's absolutely nonsense. And any American, especially ones who scream freedom the loudest, should be outraged by this. That's that Israel feels that they have a right to censor what Americans see and hear. I'm Alex Jones, this is the InfoWar, and I think differently of you. I think you're gonna awaken and spread the word and politically and corporately kick their asses. Jewish power is the ability to silence the discussion on Jewish power. I just thought to myself, why are you successful, Alex? Because you genuinely get people out of their trance because you're out of your trance and you're upset and angry about multinationals coming in to shut down your free speech. That's why I've been successful. That's why we've been able to take action. That's why we're changing the world. So if you'd like to send a strong message to the communist Chinese, the globalists, the Michael Bloombergs of the world, then it's absolutely pivotal. It's absolutely critical that you support InfoWarsStore.com and also use our backup store because it's the funds that we secure, the funds that we're able to make from your purchases that funds this truly independent operation. And again, I wanna thank you for your support. I wanna thank you for your prayers. And I wanna just encourage you to check out the amazing products we have available at InfoWarsStore.com. <laughs>